The Supreme Court is likely to deliver a crucial verdict tomorrow afternoon that could impact whether a temple will be built at Ayodhya or not. The court will decide whether to revisit the issue of whether namaz or prayers can be offered anywhere or whether a mosque is an essential part of the practice of Islam and is needed for congregation and for prayer. Now, in 1994, the Supreme Court had said namaz could be offered anywhere and that a mosque wasn't necessary. It also ruled that the government could therefore, if needed, acquire the land that a mosque is built on. Now, Muslim parties say that this verdict is unfair to them and that this decades-old decision played a big role in the disputed land in Ayodhya, being divided into three parts by the Allahabad High Court. Um, the other side argues that by challenging that 1994 verdict on namaz at this stage, Muslim stakeholders want to delay the main hearing on Ayodhya because they feel they're likely to lose. Well, Vedanathan joining us at this point for more on that story. Uh, uh, Vedanathan, the wider political impact is obviously something that is uh, quite critical here. Uh, uh, you know, what, what, what's the latest? How, how important is this verdict going to be tomorrow? Ankita, apart from the political overtones, political impact legally, if the court decides tomorrow saying that yes, it has to be revisited, then this three judge, tomorrow, mind you, it's a three judge bench headed by the Chief Justice of India. So it will have to send it to a five judge bench. Then five judge will send it to seven judge bench because 1994 judgment is five judge bench. It can be reversed only by a seven judge bench. So if it sends it to five and seven, then this main title suit is out for dumps. It will take at least minimum two to three years. But if tomorrow at 2 p.m. Chief Justice Ben decides no, there is no need to revisit, then Ayodhya title suit will be taken up. So it will have an impact whether this Ayodhya title suit can be decided at the earliest or will be put to dumps. That will be decided tomorrow afternoon. So just refer us in detail through, the, uh, through each of those scenarios, if you will. Uh, in the first instance, if the court refers the matter uh, to a higher bench, then that helps the petitioners who say uh, uh, um, the mosque is integral uh, to Islam. Yes, in fact, if, if it sends to a larger bench, what happens is normally in Supreme Court, issues are framed, what are the questions to be discussed, debated, then both sides will argue, it will go for months, then by the time it's a seven-judge bench, then Chief Justice at the time will have to think it over, if he constitutes a seven-judge bench, the work in other courts will be affected. These are the administrative issues which will have to be considered by Justice Gogoi, in case tomorrow if the Chief Justice bench refers it to a larger bench. But if it doesn't, then probably the next date for Ayodhya suit will be fixed. And since Chief Justice is retiring on 2nd of October, who is coming in his place? Who are the other judge in the three judge bench? That will have to be decided. So anyway, it will have a huge impact on the title suit because initially when the case was taken up here by the Chief Justice bench, at the time, Kapil Sibyl appearing for one of the petitioners, even others also, they said, no, no, don't take up the case immediately because at the time they felt Chief Justice, who is retiring on October 2nd, will hear the case and deliver the judgment before October 7, October 2nd, so which may be helpful for the ruling party. So that's why they just put a spoke saying that, no, no, don't hear it. So now this issue has been taken up, uh, record up saying that, no, first you decide this issue of 1994 because based on this, when namaz can be offered anywhere, not in mass, then it completely collapses our case. So that is the point now. It's very interesting politically as well as legally.